what what is the first thing that comes to your mind you think of something sweet you think of something with fruit or maybe chocolate and you think of various combinations to work within those great great parameters however if you just step out of the box and think of lime and chili as a mousse now you must be thinking oh god here we have another chef going out of the box getting quirky but chili lime pairs beautifully in a mousse subtle flavors a burst and explosion of flavors in your mouth coming together with each bite and just to add more injury to this great dessert let's go and create a great great english trifle out of this so for the very first time my version of a chili lime mousse and trifle combo pairing beautifully together let's get to creating this magic today while we are creating a gorgeous lime and chili trifle out here the only thing we are making is the mousse i've got some ready made store bought sponge cake that i've ground and i'm going to create a store bought variant of a jello later to start off creating the mousse in my bowl i've got 8 egg yolks to make the perfect sabayo to 8 egg yolks i add 7 tablespoons of sugar so you want it to be slightly sweet because the lime and the chili are just going to balance the flavors out Now to create the perfect sabayon with my pot of simmering water all I'm going to do is whisk this to get the most foamiest of emulsions and then we are going to put in the chili As soon as you realize that the sugar has melted and it's become quite a liquidy mass in goes the chili or the spice so while I'm using chipotle pepper you can take a red chili just slit it into half remove the seeds and pit because you want the heat and not the spice or go right ahead and use some chili flakes you can also take a bell pepper and use that so here i've got three chipotle peppers they are so not spiced at all they go in in the smallest of dices and we're just going to whisk it so that the spice levels merge halfway through the process as this begins to gloriously form up You can actually get some kind of satisfaction although the tediousness of this process is the only thing that's taxing in this entire mousse. It's the trickiest of stages in this perfect sabayon. As you see it forming up, ensure your water is at a simmering point and not boiling otherwise you'll have a nice sweetened scrambled egg mix in your steel bowl out here. 15 minutes of sheer whisking and what a workout this has been perfect to don the calories that we are going to gain tasting this not tasting this actually eating this so whisk it till it comes to soft peak stages maybe another 2 or 3 minutes and we are going to add in the next flavoring that actually marries the two together And this is how a gorgeous sabayo looks like, foamy in texture and a beautiful consistency. You can go ahead and whisk it a little more, and even this method works perfectly well. So we're going to take this off, and into this goes the rind of two limes and the juice of two limes, and we're just going to let everything. mix really well together now we allow this to chill and in the meantime we get to creating the whipped cream as well as the jelly to go on top of this trifle while i allow the sabayo to come to room temperature so that the flavor of the chili the lime and the sugar just blend in perfect harmony And while whisking too much, I'm using the blender now, and I'm putting 250 ml of whipping cream into that, and we're just going to get to whipping this. While technically milk cream is always whisked over ice as a cold double boiler, however, if you chill the cream really well, it works perfectly well just by whisking all by itself. Whisking to soft peak stages. This is now perfect and ready to be just folded into the chili lime mixture. Whisking cream to 
soft peak stage is what it's really about and this is the best way to judge that your cream is whisked perfectly well where you can actually turn it over and it doesn't slide down with the cream whisked i'm just going to pour in the sabayon of the chili lime into it in two batches so that we fold it in really well so just go right ahead and lightly fold the two together so that they mix in perfect harmony subtle flavors coming together and i'm so excited of this light and elegant mousse in goes the next batch with the chipotle chilies that have settled down at the bottom i'm just going to scrape every bit of this goodness right into this mixing jar light folds so that the cream engulfs the entire chili mixture allowing the chili bits to get suspended and not forgetting the tartness that has come together in perfect harmony with the lime with my chili lime mousse base setting in the fridge i've just allowed it to chill a little bit while we create the jelly so here i have a premix lime jelly jello into this i'm going to add a cup of boiling simmering water one cup of cold water and we're just going to allow it to mix well together just allow everything to mix and it gets crystal clear so creating this is so simple the only hard work you have to do out here is the mousse rest just go right ahead and use store bought variants and create the same result while we just allow this beautiful lime jelly to come to room temperature here i've got 400 grams of vanilla victoria sponge so this sponge is a store bought variant just go right ahead and crumb it and they are going to form the base of the trifle so this goes right down and we're just going to smash it down smashing all these gorgeous crumbs down just to give it about a centimeter of thickness we go straight to get our chilled mousse base i just allowed this to chill for about 15 minutes and we pour this entire base on top just flatten it out a bit we want this to set for at least 15 to 20 minutes and in the end we just pour the jelly bang on top i hate wasting and that's where i scrape off every last bit of mousse base right into my pot and i'm just going to give it the smoothest of swirls so that it sets and the jelly goes right in between these gorgeous swirls so 15 to 20 minutes is all we allow this to set in the refrigerator and in the meantime the jelly also gets nice and cold and then we go right ahead and just pour the jelly on top and allow this to set I feel the most difficult part of creating any of these desserts is the wait time that it takes. So, 20 minutes of allowing this to just slightly set, and now we are going to pour the jelly on top, creating the perfect trifle. Now, this is a shortcut that I always employ. So, my lime jelly has gone straight into a jug, easier to pour, and you want the jelly to slide over the mousse and not emulsify and mix with too. So. on top of a ladle gently rest it you gently pour this beautiful coloring and in this goes to set for another 2 hours 3 hours even overnight to ensure that everything sets together really really well here we have it my gorgeous lime and chili trifle ready sitting in the refrigerator for a good 4 hours here we have it for the very first time my chili lime mousse and trifle combo the mousse in the center pairs beautifully along with the sponge at the bottom and the tart pecan flavor of the lime jelly right on the top 
Well, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this and I'm positively sure it's a treat, a burst of flavor like we had discussed earlier. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button and as I always say, don't forget to subscribe. Here I am where the movie started, facing at a photo they've taken, space tree flying through the skies and battles happen.